Well, hello. I'm here to do a follow-up video that I talked about in some of my previous uh, work. I'm here to to show you the German uh, German de jure Grundig taping system. It's a dictation system that uh, uses these cassettes for dictation, a business dictation. If you can see here, it's a, uh, a reel. There are two reels in the uh, these tapes. They're reversible. They have a window, viewing window, to, do, to watch the thing spin, make sure that it's moving, and also to give you some indication of how much tape has, has been used. So it's uh, two directions, flips over, a compact cassette uh, unit, cartridge they call them, and then it has this uh, storage cover. So, de jour Grundig, made in Germany. And I have a few of these uh, cassettes here um, in a couple of boxes, and then there are uh, each one of the recorders that I will show you here have their own cassette. Here's a black uh, cassette version. Um, and some of these have information on them, um, audio on them, and some of them don't. So I started uh, several months ago collecting these, looking for, um, as you know, I collected a couple of uh, other Grundig um, recording devices and have done some videos on those, and you can look, uh, subscribe to my channel and go back and look at those videos. Some very fascinating technology, really. So I'm just going to give you a real quick overview of what's involved in one of these recorders. This is the actual recorder that the executive would carry. And um, it does not have a speaker. It does not have a microphone. There's no volume control or anything. So just like this, there's no, it's self-contained. Um, and the cartridge, of course, like I show you here, slides in and out. I'll get a little more detailed about that. It has some settings here, and depending on the uh, unit, um, you will see that one of the units is in German. There you go. has both the English and the uh, German uh, language on it. So the, if you'll notice, the difference between these two units is this cap this device here. This is a um, permanent magnet microphone and speaker. Now the speaker is very limited and as you will hear in just a moment um, it's only used for previewing what has been recorded on the tape so it's not very strong. Let me, uh, let me see if I can pull this cover off. Yeah I can and real pretty chrome plastic chrome cover and if you'll notice there's an element right here this is the microphone slash speaker and uh, it has two wires two connectors one connector is a little bigger than the other um, and I'll see if I can get this put back together I had quite a bit of trouble um, getting these to uh, go together there we go no not yet going to break the tab off there if I'm not careful. Um, so these, these are the speaker and microphone elements that the device uses to preview the audio. So the executive would listen to this on his tape recorder. So let me put it on, uh, this has got, this is empty. So anyway, um, you can see here that the device will only fit one direction. It snaps on right there and clicks into place and then that's the complete recording and playback device. Um, let's use this one. This one does have some audio on it. Uh, I don't know how intelligible it will be but there's the device that snaps on and off the record and playback device and again I no volume control or anything. So let's listen if we can 
It has a little locking tab here that slides up and down to keep it from in your briefcase from, from moving or and um, and then it has another locking tab on top here. You can see that little groove right there that keeps you from recording accidentally or keep you from playing back. So there, there are several locking functions built into this little switch to keep you from accidentally recording or from playing back. Okay, um, there's only a record, let me get the glare off of the, there we go, there's only a record, off, playback, and rewind. So in order to fast forward, what the executive would have to do is take the cartridge out, flip it over, and then rewind it. And there is actually a lock rewind function, I discovered. If you pull it down and push this slide up, it'll hold it in rewind. And um, if the unit is working correctly, this one's a little bit stubborn today, um, the, the unit will rewind and, and the tape, or in this case, it's like fast forward. So anyway, that's the versatile EN3 de jour. Um, recording device. So obviously the secretary is going to is going to have trouble transcribing this information uh, using this device. Uh, so what was designed to do? Let's see if I can find a tape that actually has some recording on it. Let's try this unit. See how this one is cooperating. We'll switch tapes. I've rebuilt all of these and clean the tires, um, the mechanical switches inside the unit were corroded and I had to take it all apart and clean all that corrosion and get the connections working correctly so that the switches would, would run the motor. All right, what we're listening to there is some ham radio communication that I just recorded from the uh, ham shack. Um, and I want to show you how you can see the uh, rewind. If you'll look in the window, you can see the strobing going along. That's because the tape is rewinding. Not sure what that audio, that music is. Well, let's just record something right over the top and see if it actually will record. Hi, um, this is Kent N4KRO, and I am recording a test audio or test uh, audio track for our YouTube video uh, viewers to examine the Grundig EN3 uh, dictation device. Today is. December 19th, Thursday, 2019. We're moving closely to the Christmas week and looking forward to the holiday season. So let's rewind this tape and see if it actually recorded effectively for our secretary to transcribe. All right, so now we're going to go to OS, which is off, and we're going to go to Wiedergabi. I don't know how to pronounce these germ words. Let's back up to rewind. All right. Okay, so you can see it's pretty faint. Um, I don't know if the microphone is picking it up any better than, than what I'm hearing in this room. 
But we're going to now move on to that's the, oh, let me give you another couple quick looks here. You've slide the cartridge off and you can see that the battery compartment is available to swap the battery. So it uses three AA batteries and then here is the recording head and the erase head. So when you go into record mode, I'm going to switch it over to record mode. Um, you'll notice the record head pops out. Uh, that is the erase head pops out. So it pops out and erases. It's just a magnet and it erases the tape before it passes over the record head. So that's how that works. And then there are tires in here which I know you cannot see but there are tires back in here that, that ride along the edge turn this off, that ride along the edge of the tapes there. So the tires turn and turn the tapes that direction. So um, that's how that works. Alright, so we've got a recording. So we're going to take this recording we're going to come over to the Stenoret, uh, the Stenoret model of the unit which Grundig made for the office. And the office secretary or transcription person would have a foot pedal here, got the cord bundled up and plugged into the back of the unit. And the secretary would plug their headset into the headphone jack here and we could, you could hear it. Actually it's the same connector that this uses, but it was a headset, uh, a stethoscope type headset. The, the secretary would take the notes from the recording from the boss. The boss would get the recording and she would or he would slide it into the Stenoret and then transcribe, listen to and transcribe type the, uh, the notes. So there's a tone and volume control here. They call it tone but really it's volume. Uh, no, it, it is tone, excuse me. It is an on off switch and tone and then there's a volume control here and then there's a stop start erase and rewind so you can erase the tape quickly by pushing the erase button and rewinding it and it'll wipe the tape out so that the, heat, the secretary could listen to transcribe the tape and then erase it and give it back to the boss there's a switch over here for a set of headphones another set of phones a different set of phones as opposed to this one and then there's a way to turn, there's an internal speaker that will, uh, you can play from the internal speaker or the headphones, and then there's a switch to disable the speaker. When the foot pedal is, con is plugged in, it automatically will control the play and rewind functionality of the device, and we're gonna illustrate that in a moment. Or you could control it from the switch in the control panel here on the front. So let's, do this. Let me get the. Uh, um, I know that the camera is not showing this very well. So what I'm going to do is put. Uh, oh, I have an idea. These are some of the cases that came with the devices. They fit. The uh, devices slide right down into the um, the case, and uh, you could use the uh, thing in this nice vinyl, it's not leather, it's a vinyl case. So I've got a couple of those and then there was another case here uh, a little less formal. I don't think this has anything to do with the uh, Grundig uh, and the, I think this came from an eBay purchase with some of this stuff and they threw it in by accident and the reason I say that is because the case is Tokyo Japan and obviously these units are not made in Japan, they're made in Germany. So let's listen to some meaning, some notes that were transcribed uh, in Germany. Uh, they're done in English, but you can tell, if you listen carefully to the tape, you can hear the names of different states within the country and uh, different regions within the country, and they talk about US dollars and, and uh, uh, Dutch marks and other uh, um, currency uh, uh, names. So let's listen, but let me put uh, one of these under here so you can see what we're doing. And then we'll put the foot pedal here so it's on camera. 
and uh, we'll shift the camera just a little. There we go. So let's listen to uh, what's on this tape. I'm going to be act as though my foot is working the control. If I push the control all the way down, the tape will rewind. If I push it partially down, the tape plays. So I'm going to push partially. If I rewind it so that I can get that typed again. Higher revenue could be expected from them. The target was set at US dollar 360,000. Provided one additional salesman will be appointed for the rural area. Both items were accepted. Hamburg, the suggested target of 240,000 was accepted. Okay, so Hamburg and other. Um, states mentioned in the video so you can see how it works really well and obviously these apparently are, was a sales meeting of some kind and uh, I don't know what the business is I haven't listened to the entire tape but you can see that the quality is very good they even included on this, this playback unit a little adjustment right here you can see just a little, um, let me bring it over here to the camera just a little closer. You can see there's a little, um, yeah, in the glare there, maybe you can see a little adjustment control. And it adjusts the azimuth of the playback head. So let's push start. Target, US I'm going to adjust it. See it's muffled. And what it does is adjust the head. Target suggested 240,000. So there we go. Um, that's the Steneret de Jour uh, made by Grundig. And these meeting notes then could be erased and then given back to the executive, and the executive would then slip it into the recorder and play. So we just tried to record. I'm just curious. Let's rewind. Okay, and we'll play start. speed is off a little bit so the speed of the recorder was a little fast um, and or slow I, I'd have to think about that if this was a little slow in speed and then you put it on here at regular speed I guess it would speed it up any in any case um, I would trust that this speed would be more accurate than the battery power device um, because of just the the um, drag involved in a battery device with only running four and a half volts um, with three cells there it's not a lot of power involved in this little motor although it does have pretty good uh, motor control for fast forward and re I mean uh, rewind and playback so there you go that's the uh, de jour Grundig versatile Steneret and EN3 recorder audio transcription device. If you have any questions, um, let me know. This particular model was sold, as you can see, by NTI, uh, NTI National Incorporated, which is out of Montreal, Quebec. So uh, there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and if anyone's interested in purchasing one of these, uh, I might let one of them go if you would like one. Um, that's not what this video is about, but if you would like one or are interested in getting into collecting some of the Grundig devices, I think I've got four or five different models now that um, 
I've been tinkering with over the with over the last few years. It's just an interesting part of vintage electronics. Um, the years on these devices, I I honestly don't know. Um, I'm thinking they are 70s. Um, I they may have still been in use in the 80s, but uh, in any case, I, I they probably are 60s, 70s vintage. Again, if you have any questions or any insight, let me know. Thanks for watching.